What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am in LA. We got here a few hours ago and I just need to like sit down and tell you guys the hellish story that has been our day so far. We're gonna do a little bit of a story time just to catch you up on all of the drama today. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys. So, story time. So, the morning starts off. I didn't really have a very good sleep. Mm. And so I was like already feeling very tired this morning, but I was like, we're going to LA, I'm so excited. We get to the airport. The line to check oh, your bag my God. was like, how, how long do we wait in that line? Like 45 minutes? Yeah, like at 45 least, minutes. Just to like check our bags. And then you had your QR code. I thing. didn't realize that there was like a separate federal QR code. So yeah. I didn't have that pulled up. They put Izzy through, and then I was pulled off to the side trying to get the right QR code. So that put us behind. I had some lineup drama. Had a lady yeah. be rude to oh, me. Oh, yeah, that lady was not nice. <laughs> so mean. Oh my God. And then we get to. Uh, security and we went through Nexus so that was really fast so we're like okay things are looking up like it's getting better and at this point like we we're starting to like cut it a little bit closer for our flight so then we get to customs <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and uh, we get oh. to the line my Nexus card I didn't realize was expired so we got through security with Nexus and then we get to customs I like try to go through the Nexus line it's like nope it's expired and I've already applied for the new one but we're waiting for that so couldn't let me in so I'm like, okay, I'll just go join Lee in the other line. So we get to the front, go through. The guy's like, oh, you guys shouldn't really have been going through together. Like, if you're just friends, you're not related. And we're like, sorry, we're Which traveling every together. other time I've gone with the people that I'm traveling yeah, with. Yeah, So I thought that's how that So he was went. just rude to start. Yeah. And then he, like, gives Lee back her passport and is like, you're good to go. But uh, we have one more stop for you. And I was like, <laughs> pardon? So I get pulled into secondary. 45 minutes goes by. There was not a single clock in that room and I was not allowed to look at my phone whatsoever. So I had no no concept of time, but Lee was like sitting there. Oh, Cause I had to just go through the gate like and just pretend like nothing was happening and wait for Izzy. Obviously she couldn't answer my text. So cause you're not allowed to use phones at all in that room. No. So I like was timing it and it was like, oh, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I'm like, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. And at this point, like, our flight was like about to leave very soon. Yeah. So I'm in the room. He starts asking me all these questions like about like my last time in the US and like what I do for work, what my family does for work, just like all of these questions. And I was just so confused why I was in there in the first place. Like I didn't understand why I was there. And then he's like, oh, here's this sheet of paper. Like we have the right to like search your phone. And I was like, what? Like, do I need a lawyer? Do you have a warrant? Like, I'm so confused. Yeah. But he was like, if you don't let me look through your phone, like, I'm not letting you into the country of the United States. And I was like, uh, okay. So I gave him my phone. He's like sitting there looking through it, asking me questions. And then 15 minutes later, that's done. Asks me some more questions. Then he looks through my bag. Honestly, the most stressful 45 minutes of my freaking life. Like, I was just like sitting there heart pounding. It's like, 8 15 8 30 i keep asking him like am i gonna make my flight am i gonna make my flight he's like oh i think i'm almost done here and he's like you'll get a flight today i'm like perfect can i like let my friend know that i might need her to like leave without me like i haven't even been able to communicate with her no oh my god so then i was like calling sam calling my parents literally just like yeah. what do i uh um, what do i do in this scenario like i don't really know what the game plan is here. So I was trying to like, the only option really was to try and like transfer our flight to the 120 flight. So like a few hours later. So I was like, okay, hey, I'm gonna wait till the last possible minute to do it. So it was like two minutes before they told me it was gonna be the cutoff to transfer our flights over. Cause I just wanted to buy us some time because I had absolutely no idea what was happening. I'm like, is Izzy banned from the States? Like I literally don't know. <laughs> She has some dark past. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> apparently, apparently I'm like some like crazy fraud or something. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. So anyways, I go up to like the desk to transfer the flights. And this lady was like guilt tripping me being like, well, we're going to have to pull your bags off and like, it's going to delay the whole flight. And so I was like, oh, it's okay. And I call my mom and then it was this whole thing. So then I told them, no, actually like we're going to have to get our bags off the flight. And so she's like calling the people like, I don't know, under the plane to like start to get my bag. 
And then Izzy calls me and is like, I'm coming. I was what? sprinting through the airport. <laughs> it was three, it was eight, four, 42 yeah oh, and our yeah. flight departed at 8 45 and i was literally like, oh, i'm coming my mask is like <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm like hyperventilating like in the movie sprinting down the corridors oh. and then i'm like okay wait no leave the bag on the plane and then the lady's like okay are you coming or are you not coming i'm like no we're coming we're coming we're coming izzy comes sprinting down and all you know what we got on and then but we then, sat there for like a few we sat there for probably like 20 minutes after that so like oh, i yeah. assumed that my bag would like make it on the plane you would think. Sure enough, we get to LAX and we're like waiting at the baggage check and I get this email that's like, your bag's been delayed. I'm like, you're, you're fucking kidding me. Like it's been a day and now you're telling me that my bag's not even here. Like perfect. We're like on a content trip yeah. and I don't have my bag. Like amazing. Mm -hmm. Anyways, fast forward. The weather is also terrible. It was supposed to be like sunny today. It's like cloudy and gross. So we haven't shot a single thing today. Mm -hmm. I have one outfit in my carry-on and all my purses and one pair of shoes in my carry-on. That is it. Mm -hmm. And we're just waiting literally to hear from Air Canada. Like I really hope my bag comes today. It's actually like eating at my soul. So hopefully we'll have an update on the bag situation soon. I'm just like watching my phone like a hawk. It honestly, I, f I have a good feeling it's gonna come tonight. But so. even like we get to go like get our car. We rented a car. Oh my God, yeah. And we pull up, like you have to shuttle there. We pull up, there's like a line wrapped around the building. The whole, it was like the whole building, like mm -hmm. all the way around. It was moving so slowly. We stood in the line for like an hour and 45 minutes to get our rental car. So like we thought at this point, like we landed at like 12. We thought that by like one o'clock we would be well on our way to go like enjoy the city and stuff. But like then we lost my bag. Then we get to the car rental. It takes almost two hours to get our rental car. Mm -hmm. So we we're just like, we need to go eat something. Oh, and also we had to have mimosas on the plane because like I, my mental health was not okay <laughs> after that. <laughs> those helped a lot. Oh my God. We I, I felt like those. a real human again yeah. after that. Like no coffee this morning, just pure adrenaline mm -hmm. in the veins and then mimosas and no mm -hmm. food. So we like crashed when we got here. <sighs> Anyways, that was... That was uh that was our morning mm -hmm. and afternoon and hasn't been fun. So I'm basically gonna have to raid Lee's wardrobe for dinner tonight. It's fine. And we found her a cute outfit, I think. Yeah. She's got her Versace heels, so we're set. That's all she needs. <laughs> <laughs> the tag's still on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Kill me, you guys. It was it's been a it's been a rough day. It's been a time, but you know what? Everything's gonna turn around. We're just gonna go for happy hour. We're gonna hit a happy hour because I think that's the solution to all of our problems. To most problems. <laughs> Alcohol is the solution. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this is the look that we put together from Lee's wardrobe, this cute little Princess Polly set. My heels and luckily all my purses were in my carry-on, so, and my jewelry and my toiletries, so at least we have those. Still waiting to hear about my bag, and I'm honestly getting like more and more stressed out by the minute, but I'm gonna go drink it off. Okay, we just had our nice little, I'm so much taller than you, it's not okay <laughs> in these shoes. We just had a cocktail at Rose, what is it called? The Rose Venice, it's, yeah. yeah, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Their cocktails are so good. I came here last time I was here with Michaela. All their food's really good too, and their brunch. My cocktail was very good. Yours was oh my really God, good too. So good. It was kind of spicy. Yum. Yeah. We're just walking to our dinner spot now, but you guys, I have some very <laughs> exciting news. My mom is the real MV MVP because I was texting her, telling her how stressed I was about like not having my bag by tomorrow. And I called I called like the Air Canada bag line twice and I was on hold for like half an hour each time, didn't get through. My mom calls, gets through, and gets them to like hold my bag at the airport. So after dinner, I'm going to the airport to pick up my bag and the trip is saved. Woo! So that cocktail tasted even better. Yeah. And yeah, now we're probably gonna go, we're going to Wabi now, which I, if you watched my last Oh my god, these trees are really I know, low. <laughs> and I'm so tall right now. If you watch my last LA vlog, we went to Wabi and I was obsessed with their lychee martinis and I told Lee all about the lychee martinis and she's excited to have a lychee I'm so martini. excited, that sounds amazing. So, that's where we're on our way to now. And then to the airport. circuit the lady I was like I would hug you and she was like oh I'm so glad you came <laughs> like, 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay, I was kind of crap at vlogging tonight, but we had really good dinner at Wabi, as always, the leche martinis. And then we jumped in the car and went to the airport and picked up my bag. The Air Canada staff was not as excited to see me as I was to see them, but they were really nice. Um, and I went and got my bag really quickly, so we have all of our belongings. Tomorrow is a new day. It's gonna be fantastic. And I promise I'll be better at vlogging tomorrow because I won't be like in shock of <laughs> tomorrow's events. I mean, hopefully, like, oh my God. <laughs> Can't we can't have today. another day like that. No. Anyways, your gals are going to sleep now and we'll see you in the a.m. Good morning, you guys. We are, jeez, hello, sir. Oh my gosh. Anyways, we are just on our way to go get some much needed caffeine in our systems. The girls got their caffeine and we just, my hair is like all over the place. It's really windy. <laughs> so windy. We just shot our first look of the trip. Like success. 24 hours into the trip, we just shot our first look. But it went really well, so excited to show you guys the content. If you're not following us on Instagram, you're missing out. <laughs> so make sure you are, because there's cool. gonna be so much content from this trip. Mm -hmm. And TikTok. Yes, and TikTok. <laughs> Follow us on TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. and YouTube. TikTok. And, and YouTube. All the things. Pinterest. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter. <laughs> I literally don't post. Okay, we just got back to the Airbnb. Did a quick look change. This little dress is from Paxson. It's one of my like partnerships that I'm shooting while I'm here, which is really fun. I love their stuff. The outfit I was wearing before was all from Lioness because you guys know that I love their baggy cargo pants. It's kind of a tornado in here because we've just been like packing a million outfits to take shooting with us today. So we're just pretty much packing our bags. We're going to be out from now until like sunset, just creating all of the content. We're gonna go grab some like food right now at Great White quickly and like shoot something in that zone. Then we're gonna whip over to Santa Monica, shoot there, and then head back this direction and go to the beach tonight for lots of beach content, even though it's freezing. So it should all be very interesting. We're shooting swimsuits and it's like 14 <laughs> degrees. So Love that for us. that's gonna be great. But here we go. Our first look was a success. So we are fingers crossed for a smooth sailing for the rest of the day. Okay, I completely forgot to vlog our brunch because we were just kind of rushing. We couldn't get a table at Great White, so we just got takeout and like sat out front and got some iced lattes. And now we're in Santa Monica. We did another outfit change. And we're just heading to the Santa Monica proper hotel to go shoot a look in there. It looks stunning. So I'm excited to see it in real life. And then we're probably gonna shoot one more look on our way to like towards the beach. And then we're gonna be shooting a lot of content at the beach tonight. So that's kind of the plan. Then we have a dinner reservation on Abbot Kinney. And then we're probably going back to Wabi for another lychee martini tonight. So that's sort of the schedule for the day. So cool. This room is insane. Okay, we just finished shooting at the Santa Monica proper. It was stunning in there. Insane. Got our looks done. We were, we're wearing like kind of like matchy looks. That's the outfit I was wearing last night, I believe. <laughs> so yeah, that went really well. And now we are going to head towards the beach with one stop to shoot a look on the way. It's gonna be, that's the plan. California. Oh, that's what it is. Keep it rocking. Keep it rocking. You're gonna get copyrighted for this. <laughs> that's how good I am. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, wait a second, is that Flow Rider? Wait a second. Is, is that, that Jesse? Isn't it? Oh, did I make that oh, up? Oh, no, I don't think that's Flow Rider. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're back in our brunch outfits. We're gonna go shoot these. There's like, I don't know if you can see, but this, mm -hmm. no, you can't. This street is like lined with really pretty palm trees. We're just in Santa Monica on Ocean Street. No, I lied, this May. is Bay, Bay Street. Bay. <laughs> May. Uh, Bay. So anyways, yeah, we're just gonna go shoot this look and then we're gonna round the corner, go shoot another one and then we're gonna head to the beach. We are hustling today, honeys. Hustling. Prepare yourselves for a shitload of content on Instagram and TikTok. Yes. Okay, very quick update. We just had two very successful looks in Santa Monica. We whipped to the beach. We just arrived, we're at Venice Beach now. We're gonna shoot. Um, bazillion looks each so if we don't vlog a lot that's why because we're busy <laughs> okay 
Back at the beach. We made it to the beach. You guys know how much I love my beach sunsets. And we're about to get a dope one. So we've already, we just shot a look. She's gonna change. You'll probably get five done here. Hell yeah. Um, so I'm aiming for four. And we're off to a very good start. Hey guys, completely did not update you the whole time we were at the beach. The sunset looked like it was gonna be absolutely epic. And then all of a sudden it went down and the sky was just like gray. <laughs> It was like a very sad moment for us because we had all these like images in our head of what our content was gonna look like. But you know what, you just can't win them all. And this trip is not a win for us. <laughs> we're like <laughs> making the best of it. Anyways, we're just gonna head out for dinner now. We're gonna shoot a little look on the way to dinner. I'm just wearing the warmest thing I have right now because it was so cold at the beach. Like we put on our dresses to shoot like our little bestie matching dress content and it was so cold. We were both like shaking. And then as soon as the sky turned gray, we were like, you know what, screw this. So we came back, sat in the car for like 20 minutes with the heat on full blast. And now we're just getting changed and heading out to dinner and then cocktails back at Wabi. Okay, we each just got a quick flash look done. We're arriving at Butcher's Daughter now for dinner because the girls are ready for some drinkage. Okay, dinner was delish. Our little pizza, and we had like a healthy bowl that looked really good. We got a second cocktail, which was like this spicy margarita. It was really good, but like, both of our mouths, oh my God. it was like very spicy. Like really spicy. But I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, I know. We were just talking about how, like, when you order a spicy margarita, like, oh, my seatbelt. But you're sea so Sorry. <laughs> we were just saying that when you order a spicy margarita, like, you want spice. If it's and not spicy. And then we kind of died yeah. finishing it. <laughs> but it was and then good. we tried to drink it fast because we're on our way to Wabi because we have a nine o'clock. Rezo, and they just called to tell me that last call's at 9.15, so we're like, skirt, skirt. Which, by the way, um, we get there. I think you can, good question. I'm gonna get directions. We made it out onto the patio for our, I already finished my With drink. the empty glass. <laughs> we're on my, at my favorite table. We're about to get kicked out, so we're gonna leave now. Yeah. <sighs> okay, we made it home. We just packed up all of our looks for tomorrow because so we're checking out of our airbnb tomorrow morning and we are we're doing like a hotel collab stay tomorrow night in west hollywood so we're like completely changing areas of the city which will kind of be like nice a nice little switch up we're staying at the hollywood roosevelt tomorrow for the first time so that'll be kind of fun they have like a really nice pool the hotel looks amazing so obviously i'll show you when we get there so we're getting up at a decent time. I have an exciting meeting tomorrow, actually, which I'm not gonna spill the beans, but it's with a potential management company that I've been like in touch with over the last couple months. So fingers crossed for me. We'll see how that goes. And then we're just gonna be like out and about around in like the Melrose slash West Hollywood area for the day tomorrow. And then we have a dinner reservation and that's like pretty much it. So. Today was like, I was not great at updating you guys on our day, it was very like touch and go, but pretty sure I shot like eight outfits today, like seven or eight outfits, and Lee shot like eight or nine, I think. So like we got a lot of content today, so it was very productive. Really made up for the fact that we did not shoot a single look yesterday because I didn't have my luggage. Plus it just like got cloudy at 4 p.m. and there was like literally no sun. So anyways, we hustled hard today, made up for it, and I'm probably gonna crash now. I look so tired, but I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning when we check out of our little Airbnb and head to Hollywood. Good morning, friends. It is Tuesday today, I think. We're double vlogging, just so. Yeah, so if sense. you get confused, like why one of us is looking at one camera and the other <laughs> one's looking at the other, that's why. That's why. It's Tuesday morning. We are up nice and early. We're packed up. We checked out of our Airbnb and we're checking into a fun hotel tonight. I think I mentioned the name of it last night, but I'll give you guys a full tour when we get there. So excited. We're just at Great White. We're gonna grab some breakfast really quickly and then head to West Hollywood for my meeting that I mentioned yesterday. That I have not mentioned yet, but Izzy has a meeting in West Hollywood. Anyways, breakfast time.
girls are feeling healthy this morning, so we're having our green juice. <laughs> Okay, we just finished my meeting. It went really well, you guys. I might have management soon, so that's very, very exciting. And I'll definitely share more in upcoming vlogs if things come to fruition. We just, we stayed at Zinke for a little bit and had the Le Bol, obviously. Le Bol. So good. It was delicious. It's super, super windy right now. The sun's coming out, so like the clouds are going away, which is great, but like it, that's only happening because of the like raging winds. <laughs> I know. So we're just gonna go like hang out for a little bit, walk around, do some like retail therapy, or at least some window shopping. Yeah. Damn. And then, uh, probably try to check into our hotel and then start with the content day. Woo. Oof. Guys, we weren't joking about the wind. It's like hurricane season out here. Okay. Cool. Got to check out those classic LA Blogger 2017 locations like this Paul Smith wall. Okay guys, we just got to the Roosevelt Hotel, which is where we're staying tonight. We went to check in. Our room's not quite ready, so they gave us a complimentary drink at this like, cute little blue bar. Adorable. The vibes are high. Yeah, we got some margs in the house. Woo! Okay, well our room still isn't ready, so we're just like laying in these lounge chairs in our full clothes, just basking in the sun. I'm tempted to get another margarita for that. Should we? Maybe. They're $18 though. <laughs> you know what? We're on vacation. Vacay vibe. It's been a bad. It's been a it you was a what? rough start. It's We've been, been a great hustling. day. We deserve it. We deserve another margarita. Yeah. Shall Screw we? it. Yep, let's go. We got our second round. Of $18 margaritas. Worth every penny. Cheers. They taste fantastic. Mm. Okay, guys, we're finally checking into our room. Look at how bougie this is. It looks so nice. I think this is like a newer part of the hotel. This is like called the King Loft Suite at Hotel Roosevelt. Such a vibe. The bathroom's so cute. And we are right by the pool area. We have like this little like cozy cabana situation. And there's like a little restaurant right there and then the pool area is like right out there where we just were. So this is fantastic. We're gonna sleep so well in this giant bed. Okay guys, vibes are high. We're chugging our margaritas. We are, we have our outfits packed and we're ready to go hit the town and shoot. Yes. Lee's vibing hard. Sorry, <laughs> vibes are high. Vibes are high. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we neglected you for a little bit there, but we just got a couple looks done in Beverly Hills and shivered our way through them. It is like not warm. Like it is like low key the same temperature as Vancouver. Yep. And we're wearing like bare legs and skirts and dresses. So anyways, we decided to screw content for the next two hours. We're going to go find a happy hour and then we are going to our dinner reservation yeah. and we could not be more excited. <laughs> I have a pair of backup shoes in here in case my feet blister and fall off. Oh man, there's garbage everywhere. I have Converse in this little bag as a precaution. Okay, I thought I took more videos at EPNLP, but I didn't. It's just like this really cool rooftop vibe. There was a work event going on there, so it was very busy. Oh my god. Now we're just walking to catch for dinner. It is like minus five. Like it is Honestly. cold. <laughs> we are freezing. We're back at the hotel we had a very delicious dinner and that cake was like the hit me cake so you like smash it with your spoon and then all the liquid gushes out it was very very good we got back here we each shot a look in our hotel room 
because we were gonna shoot flash looks outside but it's just so freaking cold that like we just said forget it so we just got back just finished my little skincare routine and we're gonna probably sit in bed and edit some photos for a bit and then honestly pass the fuck out today was a very good day but it was tiring we also got our we got a pcr test done yesterday morning first thing because you still need one to fly back to canada which is annoying you literally that's only for like another week and then canada's dropping the pcr test so like lucky us that we have to still do that so anyways we went to walgreens yesterday morning at 9 30 to get our test done and it's free at walgreens so that's why we went there and then we like did the swab in the car and she's like okay your results should come in two to three business days and we're like pardon because our flight is obviously in like less than 72 hours because that's the window that you're supposed to get your like pre-departure test done so we're like driving away and we're like shit are we gonna have enough time to get these results back to like get on the plane so we were kind of like stressed last night and then we were like okay maybe we're gonna need to book because we found a place this is a long story but we found a place that was gonna do like a one hour pcr test so we were like okay maybe like they have lots of appointments, worst case scenario. If we don't have anything by like Wednesday morning, we'll go. But they're like $200, so we're like, okay, we're like, fuck it, we need to get on the plane. Anyways, long story short, today at like 2.30, I got my test, or I got the email from Walgreens saying my results were in, which were obviously negative. But then I was like, we started to feel relieved. We're like, yes, this is great. And I was like, Lee, don't worry, I'm sure your test results will come in soon. Five hours go by before she gets her results. So like, we were kind of starting to panic being like, do we have to change our schedule tomorrow? And like, does she have to go get a one hour PCR test? Anyways, the good news is at dinner time, her test results also came in. So we are good to fly home tomorrow night. Thank God. That is the end of that very long story. So probably gonna go to bed now. Tomorrow we're doing content by the pool. We have a little brunch reservation and then our flight is in the afternoon. So it'll be a very chill day tomorrow. We're probably gonna sleep until like nine, which is gonna be so nice. Cause the people sleeping in the like unit above us last night at the Airbnb were like super loud. Like we heard them walking around at like 3 a.m. and it woke both of us up. So we're very excited to have this good sleep tonight. So see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning now. We are dressed and almost packed up and ready to check out of the hotel. We shot a little swimsuit look by the pool this morning, but it was very windy and not very warm because that has been our <laughs> luck so far on this trip. It's just like the worst coldest weather when it was like 30 degrees last week, but it's fine. We made it work. We're gonna head to brunch pretty soon and we're gonna go probably try to shoot another outfit on the way to brunch since we're making good time today. Um, and that's kind of the plan so far for this morning. Very excited for brunch. It's this cute spot that I went to like two and a half years ago when I was here. They do like mimosa flights and like they have this cute little courtyard and the food looks, or the food is really good. So anyways, excited to go back there. Okay, we just arrived at our shoot location. It looks so good. It like honestly looks better than expected. Seriously. So I'm very happy. Let me just give you a little look. Pretty sure this is like the police station. But like, who has this nice of a police station? That's what I wanna know. Okay, well that was a success. That was like a fun little find. We drove by yesterday and we were like, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So anyways, time for brunch now. We're excited. Okay guys, fast forward a couple hours. We departed our cute brunch spot and we were gonna try to go for another drink somewhere and meet up with Michaela to say bye quickly, but the traffic looked really hefty so we just figured we would go. We had to gas up our rental car and return it, so we did that. And we checked our bags, everything. We are just hanging out at our gate and we're really, really early. So naturally, we found the nearest bar for a giant glass of wine. A jug of wine, if you will. This pretty much concludes our trip. There's one more thing that I meant to mention earlier in this video, actually at the very, very beginning, for all my Vancouver pals. If you need a travel COVID test, we got ours done at Iridia Medical, and I have a discount code as well, which I will leave in the description for you guys. You get 10% off your COVID test. It was like so quick and easy. It took about 15 minutes to get our results. Yeah, it was so fast. And then you just like, you're just quick and done to come to the US. You don't need it to go to Mexico. You still need to come to 
the US and you need it to go back to Canada as well soon. PCR will no longer be required, but yeah, anyways, Vancouver friends, if you need a test for travel, Iridia Medical is awesome. The staff is super friendly and the test was really quick, so definitely make sure you check them out. Well, that sums up our LA trip. It was, it had its ups and downs. It was still very fun, albeit stressful. <laughs> I feel like there were so many things that we haven't even caught on film, like extra things no, that happened. Like I, I thought know. I lost my Balenciaga bag today. Basically had a meltdown. The wheel of and my the, suitcase. Yeah, the wheel of Lee's suitcase literally <laughs> just fell off the bottom of her bag as we dropped off our rental car. We were like about to get back on the shuttle <laughs> and her wheel just fell, fell <laughs> off the bottom of her bag. There have oh, been a lot of ups and downs and the weather yeah. was rough. But Sometimes. you know what? Just means we need to come back and like recreate this trip yeah but without all the bad karma for some reason we didn't have karma on our side this trip no it's still fun we still got the content so make sure you're following us both on instagram so you don't miss out on any of that because there is so much oh, it's from. so much and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any other vlogs or fun content and we'll see you next time <laughs>